Hey, all my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel, where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach, and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So, you know, I'm wondering when you thoughts going to realize that the thought era is really coming to an end because these men are, they, they, they fed up and they tapped out. All right. These men are fed up and tapped out from all your thoughtery and hoeing and putting all your value on your sexual, your sexuality and whether or not you can suck good and throw it back good and all this other stuff that y'all think is so cute and things that y'all think are actually going to attract men towards you with any level of respect or anything. And it's gotten so bad that the men are, are even passing up on the smash portion of this. Like they're passing up on just get you and smash you. They're just letting you know off the top that it is just unbecoming of any woman at all. Uh, unless she's really, truly the lowest of the low. Like, don't talk. The men are saying, don't talk to us like that. We don't want you to talk to us like that. It, you know, it get to a point where it's so you desensitize so much. But I'm not I'm going to not keep talking and we're going to let this play. She gets vulgar. So just be aware of that if there are children around or anything like that. But let's go. Real seductive. You are. I Swallow. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. So, go, go wait, I'm, 20, I'm hey. 29 no, you, with I, a degree. Hey, look, look. Massage no. therapist. Too hard. Back. Too hard. So you don't, you don't like, you don't like when a girl fuck you good, suck you good, cook for you, clean for you, yeah. massage you, love you, beat her for you. What you telling me? Shit, a woman's supposed to do. Not somebody supposed to get credited for doing. But again, right? You so in the open with it. Like, I, I'm just being real. Like, I do it all. Being real to me. Being real to me is finding out who a nigga is before you open up like that to you. Go left. Go left? Okay, then. Well, you have to Okay. I am real seductive. You are. And this is the problem. It's gotten so bad that other modern women are like, come on. This lady said, good response, Waka. Another woman said women expose themselves like this because they think this is what most men want and then they embarrass themselves before they figure it out. Child, please bring back shame, gatekeeping, discretion, privacy, and the lot. Too many sexy reds, not enough Lauren Hills. It's actually a disgrace. That's how you introduce yourself. That's all you have to offer. Some women need guidance. Embarrassing when you lead with the coochie and they still don't want none. This is what I'm talking about. The foddery has gotten to such an oversaturated point, to such a point where the men are actually disgusted. And I'm, and I'm going to tell you why they're disgusted. They're disgusted because it's disgusting for a woman to do that. They're also disgusted because it's too widespread. Your average chick is presenting herself like a complete whore. And so the fact that the pool of women who carry themselves with class, who carry themselves with modesty, who carry themselves as ladylike women, who don't curse and, 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 and get crazy, at least not in public, you're not getting crazy and cursing and, you know, you cursing like a sailor and smoking and drinking all in public and, you know, making a spectacle of yourself, you're either being too masculine or too sexual which can in turn be a little bit on the masculine side as well. But she came out with vulgarity. Listen, when, who y'all who y'all gonna listen to? 
You don't, you didn't listen to Kevin Samuels when he said it, you hated his guts. You don't listen to women like me when we say it, because we all pick knees and male identified, and we just want the uh the 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 head pat and the kudos from men. So that's why we say what we say to you, according to y'all. You know, we not we don't mean y'all no good. We're not trying to help y'all as women, we just trying to get the men to, you know, throw us a Scooby snack for saying quote unquote the right thing. And so now are you gonna start listening to the rappers and the so-called high earning so-called high value men to come out and tell y'all straight up we don't like this so we're not going to even choose you to smash you we are not even going to choose you to have the sex that you claim is so good first of all because a lot of y'all cap y'all don't be having no good sex the main ones that gotta leave with that be the main ones be garbage in bed Okay, garbage, complete garbage. Okay, so we're not even gonna play that game, right? And like, you gotta move around. Then she wanted to talk about this. This is the other part of the fallacy, right? Because y'all don't even know where y'all value is at. The first thing that you think is that your value is in your sexuality and your sexual prowess and all of that other type of stuff, and it's not. Then the 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 turnaround that she tried to do was so crazy. Because then she tried to talk about degrees. That doesn't influence men either. You can't talk to grown men like this. You cannot talk to grown men like this. This is a man who don't have no problem getting no sex from no woman. So that is not some type of prize to him. That's not some type of unattainable thing or some rare thing that he rarely get. Like, stop playing yourself. Stop that. And I don't care whether he was a rapper, whether he was a famous person or not. I don't care who he is. He could be the regular Joe Blow Schmo walking down the street. Like, y'all going to have to stop presenting y'all y'all coochie to people. Stop that. Stop, inv as the old folks say, stop inviting people to your, you know, stop inviting people to, my grandma used to say it, she was more crude. Stop inviting people to your ASS. Stop it. Stop inviting people. Why are you inviting people to that? Why, just randomly. Stop inviting people to that. And it was, but it was facts though. Why, why is that the first thing that you got to say? So since what you led with is where you feel your highest value is at. Coming back around and talk about your degree doesn't cover it. First of all, because that's not where you thought your value was at in the first place. You didn't leave with that. You led with what you thought would get his attention. You disgusted him. Then you tried to come back and talk about um, being a massager. Don't nobody care about that. Your degree doesn't matter even if you led with that and didn't say anything sexual. That also is like not, that doesn't do anything for a man. The reason why they keep saying that is because you having a degree, you going to school, you have some type of certification for something does not indicate who you're going to be as a woman in the relationship. Nothing. Since when do your schooling have anything to do with who you are as a woman and how you show up as a woman in a relationship? Since when? You don't take relationship classes. Like y'all are not coming out saying, man, I got a master's in wife school. Like if you come with that, maybe your degree will mean something. It, it might mean something then if you come with, hey, I graduated from the top wife school in America with a master's. So I know how to be a wife. You might get some traction. But y'all ain't got no traction because like, like the young people say, y'all ain't got no motion. None. Positive, negative, or otherwise. Girl, ain't nobody trying to hear about what kind of little certificate you got. What does that do? Not only does it not tell anyone who you are as a woman and how you show up in relationships, but you don't want to use whatever little money you get. You're not trying to utilize it in the relationship anyway. So uh, uh, boop, move around, knock it off. Like nobody care, Buki. Nobody cares, Buki. Nobody cares, back foot bookie. If this is how y'all shooting y'all shot, I would advise y'all to stop doing that. Leading with your coochie and leading with how much of a throat goat. Now, that, 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 leave that alone. 
if you good at that, let him find that out in the court over the course of the relationship. Let him find that out. Let him find that out when some commitment has been done. Let him find that out when y'all get married. Let him find out how you throw it back, twirl it around and twist it around and all that kind of stuff. Because y'all be talking heavy and then be coming through light. So let's so stop playing that game. Y'all be talking heavy, then come through light as a feather. The men are not impressed with your whoredom. That's the bottom line. It's not impressive. It's not special. It's not, it's not even like the forbidden fruit or like the, the thing that you know is taboo, but it's rare and you just get a chance. No, y'all are so open with the whoring. It's like, it's like, I mean, go, getting a hoe to lay in the bed with you is like going to the stove, pulling up. And getting like a quarter pound out the drive through like there's nothing special about that, man. McDonald's got billions of, of Big Macs sold. Like, they ain't tripping. Billions of hoes. Like, y'all are literally a dime a dozen. Literally. Y'all better stop that. I don't know who you're going to believe. You don't believe the women. We pick me. The other men, they in sales and simps. And they don't get up. These are the men y'all like. Are you going to believe them now? Jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you have not, once again, I'm your host, Sister Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.